AnyType as well as AppFlowy are both fantastic note-taking apps. But which one is the better option? Because you can only use one. We're going to figure that out today in a head-to-head -head comparison and see which one comes out on top. So let's dive in. So once we jump into any type features, you'll realize how good the software actually is. So any type actually stands out with pretty great offline capabilities, which is unusual. It allows you to access and edit documents without an internet connection. The feature is particularly useful for anybody that works in diverse environments and may not always have a reliable internet access. Any type also utilizes decentralization storage, giving you greater control over your data. The approach not only enhances security, but also allows for a more private experience compared to your traditional cloud-based solutions. The platform supports various rich content blocks, including images, videos, and embeds, enabling you to create dynamic and engaging documents. The versatility enhances the way information is actually presented and consumed. AnyType offers customizable templates as well to help anybody kickstart their project. The feature allows for a quick setup and it provides a foundation for consistent documentation across your teams. You can also take advantage of advanced tagging and linking functions that enable better organization of information and easy navigation between related content. This enhances the user experience overall by simplifying the retrieval of relative data. Also, any type places a strong emphasis on user privacy, allowing anybody to decide who can view or edit their content. This really does focus on privacy and it makes it appealing for anybody that's concerned about their data security. Let's have a look at any type's drawbacks. As a relatively new tool, any type may have fewer third party integrations compared to the more established platforms. This could limit the functionality slightly. Also, with a smaller user base, finding community support and resources may be slightly challenging. This could slow down the learning process and hinder the troubleshooting of issues. Let's have a look at AppFlowy now. So AppFlowy is open source. Open source is amazing and it allows you to customize and modify the application according to your specific needs. The flexibility is appealing for anybody that wants to tailor their experience without the vendor lock-in. The platform also provides fantastic markdown support, enabling you to format your notes quickly and efficiently. The feature really enhances speed and productivity in creating your documents. AppFlowy also allows you to create intricate databases for organization and for managing your information. And this is vital to handle large volumes of data. The collaboration workspaces within AppFlowy also promotes teamwork by allowing multiple users to interact with documentation simultaneously in real time. It's essential for sharing ideas and project inputs from every team member. You can also utilize their customization templates uh, to streamline your project and ensure consistency across documentation. This can save you time and enhance your organization skills. AppFlowy also offers structured views for managing content, enabling you to visualize and organize your information efficiently and really it can enhance your overall experience and your productivity let's have a look at one or two of their drawbacks so appflowy is open source and it has extensive features this may present a learning curve for new users the complexity could slow down your initial adoption for those unfamiliar and um, anybody that's not so clued up with systems as such also, being a newer project, AppFlowy may not have a large community compared to some of the more established tools and software, and this also could limit the support and available resources when learning. So note-taking apps these days are not even just note-taking apps. There are a whole bunch more. But to go and figure out which one is going to work for you is actually the the time when you need to sit back and use the app and see which one actually works. So um, the takeaway here is to go and explore on your own and see what fits your needs. 
If this was helpful, drop us a like and we'll see you next time.